Katie Kirkendall, who's been named the American Southwest Conference Athlete of the Year. Just talk about that honor and, and what it means to be named the uh, top female athlete in the entire conference. Uh, it's a really awesome feeling to have something like this. Um, I think it just must of credit goes to our team and our program and everyone Uh, it's kind of a unique deal, you and your sister Amy, uh, both have been named uh, uh, Conference Player of the Year. Just talk about, you know, you and Amy's accomplishment uh, winning that award. Uh, I think it's pretty crazy, we both got it. Um, it's really special to our family and our parents, we both have a lot to them. Um, it's been pushing us throughout the years and I look up to Amy so much, I'm glad I have her as a role model for the last four years. And just Talk a little bit about your entire experience at Harden Simmons and your, your whole four-year career. This, you know, the national championship, everything else. This, this kind of sum it up in a few words. Um, it's really just been surreal. I never would have expected what kind of impact Harden Simmons would have on my life. I never knew what kind of family that I, that I would get here and how I would grow as a person. National championship is just something that tops all off. Even if you're wearing a successful other years, every year is just great. Congratulations, Javis, the 2013 ASC Male Athlete of the Year. How does that sound? How does that make you feel? Man, it, it feels pretty great, I can tell you that. It's just been a great experience the past four years here at the University of Maryland Baylor with different accolades and different awards. And man, it's just it's amazing to get this nominee and this um, to be able to get this and you know, represent the University of Maryland Baylor. So that's one thing that I'm very proud of. You're joining some pretty good company, not only from across the conference, but from the uh, UMHB football program players who have won this award. What does that mean to you to kind of be mentioned with some of those names that have won this award in the past? It means a lot. Um, every accolade that I've got meant a lot. Um, I really didn't reflect on it until the end of the season, and now I realize like how much it means and how much it really, truly, deeply means to me and my family and friends and the people at the University of Maryland Baylor. So it, it's a great opportunity, a great, man, it's just a great feeling, I tell you that much. That's an interesting point you've mentioned. There have been so many accolades, so many awards over your career. Does one of them mean more than the other? Or can you even compare these type of awards? Man, I, it, to be honest, it's, it's hard to compare. I, I just know that each one that I get, I really appreciate it. I'm not one of those guys who's a hot man or whatever. I really appreciate each award, but it wasn't until the end of the season when I sat back and I thought about it and I had time to think, like, oh my goodness, this was a blessed and amazing career that I had at the University of Maryland Baylor. And as, have you had a chance to do that, kind of look back over your career, look back over your senior year and realize just some of the things you did accomplish during yeah, your time? Yeah, every night when I go to sleep, I look back at that, man. I, and I kind of wish I could go back and do it again, but now I'm moving on and trying to do bigger and better things. Congratulations, Chavis. Best of luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you.